Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another folio with you. This folio was created using the beautiful Prima Amber Moon collection by Frank Garcia. Um, and this is uh, just like the recipe folio, only I wanted to use the uh, Prima Amber Moon collection. I did use the 12 by 12 paper pad, as well as some of the individual 12 by 12 sheets that have the foil accent on them, uh, because you know the t paper pads do not have the foil accents. So uh, on the front cover, I layered the design paper here. I inked around all the edges with Distress Ink in Gathered Twigs. Um, these little embellishments here are actually from Kaiser Craft. The leaves and all the flowers are actually from Prima and they're from this collection right here. I spelled out the words be thankful and these are actually, these are actual uh, Scrabble tiles from a Scrabble board game, an old one that I found at the thrift store. And then um, these are some of the ephemera pieces right here, this little butterfly I put on some uh, foam tape and then this cute little bird I just attached him right here. And this is another piece of the ephemera right here and again I inked around it with gathered twigs. So here's the first spine, and again, this is one of the 12 by 12s that had the foil on it. I just cut a border strip and put it right here. Here is the back that also has the foil accents on it. So pretty, love the little bird. And then um, these are the two smaller spines. So the way it works, and I probably might rethink this if I do this project again, really keep your embellishments flat because when you open it up, it doesn't lay flat and it's kind of bugging me, but anyway, it is really lovely. <laughs> so you open it up, there's a magnetic closure and I did use the foil accent paper here. I kept these a mirror image. There's magnet closures right here. So see what I mean? I got the flowers there, so it's kind of wonky and that's kind of bugging me. I added some more of the um, 12 by 12 paper that had the accent foil accent on it in the spine here and it's got the cute little copper dots. So then it opens like this. And on this first one here, I have a couple of layered pockets. This is one of the ephemera tags, and I did add another one of those little Kaiser Craft uh, sparkly little things right there, and I inked around it right here. Uh, this is one of the cutouts, and another piece of ephemera. I made a couple of tags with the leftover scraps, um, and I added some of the We Are Memory Keepers large copper eyelets. There's the back. And then here's a photo mat here. This will hold, I think, a oh, three by five, four by five, something like that. And then for this decorative edge, I did use um, this punch right here, and it is retired, I'm sorry, but and that's the one I used. I used the, it's got three of them here. I used the scallop right here, and then I used this little um, seashell looking type thing for the design paper. So that's the punch that I used for my edges. Again, some more of the border paper with the copper foiling that says thanks. And then I made two large tags for the top. Love the wood grain, and again, another bit of this paper here that has the copper accents right there, or rose gold, or whatever it is. I just know it's really pretty. <laughs> so those go back in there. And this ribbon is actually the silk ribbon, and it's um, called Rust, and that's from May Arts. And that goes back in there, and then these little tags go back in here. So on the first page, I made a little um, text spot here with one of the foil accented 3x4 cards. This is one of the, uh, some leftover design paper here and I just made a photo mat, tucked it in there. And then there's a large tag here. I'm not sure why that's sticking. Um, again, some more design paper here and here and then I left it blank on the inside and then there is the back. And then you flip it over again, some more of the border strip paper here. And then these are the two pocket tags, and I um, went ahead and used some of the 4x6 journaling cards and trimmed them down to fit on here. And I did use a decorative punch on the edges, and they're blank on the inside. They're both exactly the same. Here, and then right there. So these are actually 4x6, so you could trim your photos down to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters, and they would fit on there. And then again, I just used some of the small little cutouts, and these are actually, these two are from the some scraps from the 6x6 paper pad that I had left over, and then this is from the ephemera pack, same with this one right here, little seed pack, it's super cute. Flipped it over, again, some more little elements from the leftovers of the 6x6. Here's the other page here, again, another photo mat. 
think was a problem was. I think I made that mat bigger than I did this mat. Oh, well, just talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> I added a couple of photo mats right here. This is actually from the um, ephemera pack. It's a little, uh, what do you call it? Acetate little tag. It's super cute. It says fall in love. Then I added an extra pocket back here with another border strip. And then I used a bunch of the leftover um, foil accented 3x4 cutouts and made little photo mats there and there and there. And then I made two little booklets with these. And they're playing on the inside. They'll hold 3x4 cards. This little cute home sweet home is from the ephemera pack as well. And then same with this one. So those just go back in here. This is such a fun project and it does look amazing in different kinds of papers. So then over here is where the photo sleeves are. And I went ahead and just added um, some of the 4x6 cards and some of the 3x4 cards so I can just slip my photos in. I love the seed packets. Super cute. The wood grain on the background. And then I just added a piece of the design paper right here. And then here is the accordion pocket with the magnetic closure. I added a border strip right here along the bottom of the wood grain paper. And then that's the inside. So there's lots of room to put stuff in there as well. And that's got a magnetic closure. So there you go, everybody. That is my folio using the beautiful Prima Amber Moon Collection by Frank Garcia. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.